Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you three different super simple cleansing balm formulations. They all use just three or four easy to get ingredients. They work like a treat and are a fantastic place to start if you're interested in making your very own cleansing balms or balm to milk cleansers. What is a cleansing balm? A cleansing balm is an oil-based facial cleanser that really effectively removes makeup and cleans the skin because like dissolves like. So the fats that make up the cleansing balm will dissolve the sebum on your skin. Cleansing balms are sometimes called balm to milk cleansers because they transform from a balm into a milk when you add water. You can use a cleansing balm as your only facial cleanser or you can follow it up with a foaming or lathering cleanser for a double cleanse. I often use a cleansing balm just around my eyes to remove mascara and eyeliner and then use a cream cleanser for the rest of my face. What are the key elements of a cleansing balm formulation? There are three key parts to any anhydrous cleansing balm formulation. The bulk of the formulation will be oil-soluble emollients. We generally want these to be inexpensive since they're just going to get washed down the drain. This ingredient functions as a solvent because like dissolves like. So this ingredient will dissolve the sebum on our skin and the film formers that make makeup and sunscreen long wearing. We're using MCT or medium chain triglycerides today because it's relatively inexpensive, lightweight, and easy to get. But you could use a different lightweight oil or blend if you prefer. And this is also a great way to use up oils that are nearing the end of their shelf life as cleansing balms tend to get used up pretty quickly. Esters like ethyl hexyl palmitate, isopropyl myristate, and C12 to 15 alkyl benzoate are also popular in cleansing balm formulations and perform wonderfully. Try swapping out some of the MCT for an ester in any of these formulations for a formulation upgrade. The cleansing and rinse off function, the balm to milk magic of the cleansing balm comes from the inclusion of an oil soluble oil in water emulsifier or surfactant. In these formulations, I'm using emulsifying wax NF because I pulled my patrons and asked them which potential wash off ingredient they'd purchased first and emulsifying wax NF1. So I thought it was the most likely to be the thing most people would have if they had anything. If you'd like to learn more about emulsifying wax NF, I've made an entire video deep dive all about it, so make sure you check that out. Other options that home crafters can usually get include other complete oil and water emulsifying waxes like Olive M1000, Polysorbate 80, PEG 40 castor oil, hydrogenated or not, and Cremoleant SCE. Polysorbate 80 was a close second in my patron poll, so I've shared versions of these formulations that use polysorbate 80 instead of emulsifying wax NF as a patron exclusive video. Please consider becoming a $10 a month patron if you'd like to see those versions and help support free formulation education. You cannot use a water-containing foaming surfactant like cocomidopropylbetaine or decoglucoside instead, as those won't incorporate in this anhydrous formulation. And the last key ingredient is the thickener. This is the ingredient that makes the product solid, so you know, it's a bomb. I recommend using a fatty thickener rather than a true wax like beeswax, as they rinse off the skin far more easily leaving the skin soft and clean without any tacky residue. Each of the formulations I'm sharing today uses a different thickener, and you should be able to get at least one of them if you don't already have one. The first one uses cetyryl alcohol, the second uses a blend of cetyl alcohol and stearic acid, and the third uses butter pearls or C10 to 18 triglycerides. I've made videos about all four of these ingredients if you would like to learn more. They're linked in the partner blog post. Cleansing bombs have a lot in common with cleansing oils. The key difference is the thickener. I shared a post and video all about oil cleanser formulation last year, and I highly recommend reading the post and watching the video to learn a lot more. Making these cleansing balms is pretty easy, and the process is exactly the same for all three formulations. So I'm going to put the ingredients up on the screen and show the making for all three at once. We'll be making 40 gram batches of each formulation to start with. I recommend sticking with this amount for the first go of each formulation, and then you can scale up your favorite formulation later. Remember, if you want to see everything written out, amounts, instructions, substitutions, and more, you'll find all that in the totally free partner blog post linked in the description box below. Begin by weighing out the ingredients. Each formulation needs four grams of emulsifying wax NF for rinse off. All three formulations call for medium chain triglycerides for the oil soluble emollient slash solvent in slightly different amounts for each formulation. And for the fatty thickeners, formulation number one uses 5.2 grams of 7030 cetyryl alcohol, 
Formulation number two uses a blend of 5.6 grams stearic acid and 2.8 grams cell alcohol. And formulation number three uses 4.8 grams of C10 to 18 triglycerides, also known as butter pearls. To make the cleansing bombs, combine the ingredients for each formulation in three different heat resistant glass measuring cups. Melt everything through using a water bath. The pot I'm using is a vintage Pyrex flameware pot, which is safe for stove top use. Once the emulsifying wax and hardener have melted, remove the measuring cup from the heat. Before we package these cleansing bombs, we're going to cool them to trace, and we'll use an ice bath to speed things up. Place the measuring cup containing the melted cleansing bomb in a bowl of ice water. Stir the mixture continually until it reaches a light to medium trace. The consistency should be about as thick as unwhipped heavy cream, maybe a bit thicker. Once you've reached trace, pour the cleansing bomb into wide mouth jars and leave it to set up. I'm using three 50 milliliter screw top plastic jars from Yellow Bee that were gifts. The cleansing bombs will take about an hour to set up on the counter and once they have solidified, that's it. Let's take a look at the three different formulations to see how they differ. They're all on the softer, scoopable side of things, but the different thickeners do lend slightly different consistencies to each formulation. Bomb number one, the one made with cetyryl alcohol, is creamy, slippy, and rich. Bomb number two, the one made with a blend of stearic acid and cetyl alcohol, is a bit less rich than the cetyryl alcohol version, but I'd also say it's more slippy and feels like it melts down to a slightly thinner, more movable liquid. And bomb number three, the butter pearl bomb, is slightly drier than the other two and perhaps a bit fluffy. It melts readily when massaged into the skin and feels a bit richer or even buttery and less slippy than the cetyryl alcohol bomb. Out of the three, I'd say the Satyral Bomb is kind of the average of the three, with the Settle Steric formulation being a bit more slippy, and the Butter Pearl formulation being a bit richer and more buttery. To use these cleansing bombs, massage a dollop into dry skin, and then work in some warm water before rinsing or wiping your face with a damp cloth. Rinsing with just water will leave your skin feeling soft and moisturized. I like to use a cloth if I'm removing long wearing eye makeup, but you're certainly free to do whatever you prefer and whatever works for you. As these cleansing bombs don't contain any preservatives, take care not to get any water into them as you use them. If you'd like to add a preservative, I've included information on that in the partner blog post. As long as you keep these cleansing bombs dry throughout their lifetime, they should easily last two years or more. And there you go. We just made three simple cleansing bombs. If you would like to learn more about Emulsifying Wax NF, the rinse off ingredient that we used in these formulations today, click here. And if you would like to learn more about oil cleanser formulation, so kind of a cleansing bomb minus the thickener, click here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.